Hello Freedom Family, it's another beautiful day! <laughs> My name is Shane Shalom and um, you're welcome to get another new episode of your program Born Star Secret. Oh, <laughs> I know you all like my David. <laughs> Alright, you might be wondering who are these beautiful girls sitting right beside me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna let you in on who they are. And just before I continue, um, I don't want you guys to look too much on these beautiful girls, okay? Okay. Don't want, I don't want you to look too much on them. Alright, I want to introduce them one after the other. But before I continue, I'd like to tell you all why we are here again. Today we are about to continue what we did the previous week about um, our topic, the topic we started about is church boring? Now the reason why we are doing this is we want to know how, what our kids feel about church, if they like um, the African setting, uh, the way the church has been, the way the children church has been organized. We want to know actually if the children ministry is fantastic for them and that is what we are about to continue today. So we treating is church boring part two. All right. I know you're anxious to know what we're going to talk about today. I know you're anxious about what these girls are going to say today. So let's roll it. All right. Now let me start. To my right, here yeah, I have this beautiful girl. Her name is Lola. I'm not with you. You can follow her on her YouTube channel. She's also a YouTuber. She has a YouTube channel. She does wonderful things on her YouTube. Wonderful things on her YouTube channel. And you can follow her, Lola. I'm not with you, right? Am I right? Is that your YouTube? Yeah. Your, your name on yes, YouTube? you can look on Uncle Shane's subscriber list. Okay, you can check my subscriber list because I subscribe to a channel. I have no other choice because she does intelligent things, okay? All right, and next to her is Sochi. Sochi, S-O-C-H-I. Sochi, did I spell it right? All right, that's her name, and she's also here on this show to tell us some, to answer some of the questions as, um, as regards um, if church is boring or not. Now, she has a YouTube channel too. Oh my god, I didn't, I didn't know about that. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Savage with Sochi. Savage with Sochi. Wow, what a, the name is so, it's so, it's so lit. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's on fire. All right, again, just next to me is Esther. I know you've heard so much about Esther and the Bible. Yeah, this is another pretty Esther. She's one of my babies. <laughs> all right, Esther, you, do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Okay, oh, uh, very quickly, I just want them all to say hello to their fans out there. What's your YouTube name? Esther underscore Maze. Esther underscore Maze. Can you actually? It's E S T underscore M A Z. All right, I know you guys got that. All right, can you just say hi to them? Let me start from Lola. Say hi to your fans out there. Hey, fans out there. All right, it's your girl Lola. It's your girl Lola. <laughs> can you give them a dab? <laughs> okay. All right, Sochi. Hey yo, what's poppin'? This game? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Esther? Um, make sure you go follow all of us um, at Sip Sochi on Musical.ly um, <laughs> and yeah, just like subscribe to all of our channels because we do good comedy and um, stuff like that so yeah, double them haters Alright, <laughs> dab to my haters too yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, um, without wasting much of our time we just want to continue uh, with the topic this is a part 2 of this topic type in form of a question is church boring? Alright, um, Lola I don't, I don't know if you actually watched the last episode, um, but today, I know you have an idea about what we're going to treat today, so I want to ask you this question real quick. Is church boring to you? Yes. It is? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. How about you? Yes, sometimes. It is? Okay. How about you? Yes. Oh, yes, um, because um, my parents always force me to go to church, and like we're doing Bible study, and I really don't want to go because I'm trying to do Netflix and chill. I always say, let's go to church. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, this is the same question I asked. I want you guys to be as real as possible. Oh, I forgot to ask you guys to take the the promise. Now, promise me you're going to say nothing but the truth on this program. Yes, I promise. I promise. All right, I promise. you promise. All right, I promise to. I pray I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, we right. start to our vlog channels yours. too. Just oh. to clear that out. Live with Lola. Mine is Savage with Sochi. Okay. I don't have one, but I'm My vlog is Live with Lola, so. Oh. I don't have one, so Let's I'm going to show from me, guys. Let's look at the show from me, guys. Okay, guys. Um, Lola, I want to ask you this question I asked Prince PJ Lockdown and uh, King PJ Lockdown yesterday. Um, this is the question How do you feel? When your mom wakes you up, I know you have an African mom anyway. Mom, you look, you mom, look black. So, <laughs> <laughs> We're all black. So, so of course you're black. Yeah. But I'm from China. I'm a Chinese. Ah, you racist! I am a Chinese. 
Cha 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 Everybody complains about the same thing. Everybody yeah. complains about. Okay, how about you? I don't like. We have to wake up really early because we live really far away, like oh. a long time. Okay. So we have to wake up, and then we have to get ready. Okay. And then we have to drive a really long way, and you can't sleep in the car because it's really loud. Oh, okay. How about you, Esther? Well, I really don't like going um, wake up really early in the morning because okay. my parents know that I was up all night on my tablet texting them too, and <laughs> they they like they just go ahead and wake me up like. Oh. Like, so are they are they your closest friend? Yes. Oh, okay. They text okay. me on Hangouts all the time. Oh, okay. No, no, no. This is this is my question again. Um, is it? Do you think it is the African churches that are boring, or you feel? Uh, all churches are boring, or is this just the church you go to? All right? churches are boring, ex ex especially those Baptist churches. They don't even no. have, they don't even have the the kids department. They're always praising this. Um, my lamb has captured you, so I. Okay. okay. So. Okay. You want to say something? Okay. So, okay. okay. Uh, okay. So there's this church in Frisco. It's called Elevate Life Church. It's so fun because they have like different sections, like for your grade and. Like, and it's really fun, and they preach you, and then you have like games, game time, and you have a whole bunch of different stuff okay. to do, and you they do the word, and they, um, and then you do praise and worship. Oh, so you say the church is so organized? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Um, Lola? slightly, I would like the white shirt better because, like, whenever I lived in Norfolk. <laughs> Um, I loved the white church. It was like more fun, more organized a lot. The kids wouldn't really get in trouble. They would just like get screamed and it wasn't like it really, really in a bad way. It didn't make the child feel bad okay. about themselves. Okay. All right. Let me, let me ask you all those questions. I'm going to start from Esther this time. Now, this is a question. Do you, is there anything you learn from church? Like, do you learn stuff from church or is it just boring generally you don't learn anything from church here's the thing i go to church but then i don't want to and then i go to class and then they say um this is what happens like to this person this will happen to this person this will happen when they die to this person and then they're like make sure you learn this memory verse i'm like huh <laughs> And they don't even give us cards. They, really give they don't even give us a card. They don't give us like a paper. It's like this is the memory verse. Um, take it and go learn it. And like they just leave it on the board there until next Sunday. And be like who learned the memory verse? And I, I'm trying to be like looking at the board, see what they, because I don't understand what they're saying. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, Chi. Uh, do you think this is a question? Um, this is a question. Do you learn anything from your church or? Oh, do you do you think it's just generally boring? You don't learn anything from it. Okay, I think that we all learn stuff from this church, but as Esther said, they like give us a memory verse, and like they want us to learn it in just the time that we have okay. after like they give it to us, and then we get like thirty minutes to memorize it, okay. and then they make us repeat it um, next Sunday. And most of us forget. So. Okay. All right, Lola. How about you? Um. Sorry. So yes, I I I do like the church. It's a bit boring, but sometimes mm -hmm. the teachers don't really listen mm -hmm. listen to you whenever they talk. Like if someone else is talking, but you raise their hand, like like I'm like oh, excuse me, mm -hmm. I raise my hand, and then they're talking to somebody that didn't raise their hand. Okay, okay, all right. This is the main purpose of this program. We want to know, we, um, some of the children ministers, they actually want me to get the fact from you guys about how we can change the church setting, the African church setting, and how we can make it um, interesting to you guys, how we can make it fun feel for you guys, and at the same time, make you guys learn and benefit a lot from it. Now, I'm going to ask this question starting from Sochi, and this is the question. Uh, I want you to be, uh, to be, 
concise about this question as possible. This is the question. What are the things you think we can change in our churches to make it fun for you children? What are the things you think we can add? What are the things you can, we can remove to make you guys learn and at the same time make it a fun environment for you guys? Okay. I think that we shouldn't only do, like, I'm not trying to be racist, but we, okay. should, oh, we shouldn't only do white people's song, okay. and we should also do, like, our type of song. Okay. And I think that we should have more, ga like, game time, but some games should be, like, um based on like the word mm. and stuff, even some games should not be, some games should, mm -hmm. and we should like, as I said, have more time. Mm -hmm. We should also remove like small, big groups. Mm -hmm. We should have more time for small group because mm -hmm. um, more people get a chance to talk and not. And the teachers can answer your questions more so, yeah. Okay, good. All right, Esther? Um, um, I think they should add, um, like, Africa song because they be um, dancing, like, no man's on white people's songs, and I really don't get it. Mm -hmm. And then I also think they should add, like, when they're doing um, the King of Joseph, stuff like that. You should add more movies, like, you know, Netflix and shit, let's go. But then also you need to add, like, the games, like, mm -hmm. more games, and not just, like, sit in the class and be like, okay, you need to learn the memory verse. Like, and, like, they need to add, like, papers, like, so let's remember us, um, learn it, but, yeah. Okay, good, that's a good one. Um, How about you, Lola? I think they need to, like, chill out some more, because, and, um, and with the... As, like things that they teach us the lessons, mm -hmm. I I think that they should like at least put it into some type of game, mm -hmm. and then we get to like, maybe have field trips that will like make us learn better mm -hmm. and go to other places. Okay. Okay. Now I want to ask you guys this question. I'm just trying to think for you guys. Now, this is what I think. I think we got we should we children because I'm also part of you guys. Duh. <laughs> All right, because I'm also part of you guys. I think, I think they should give us some time to to go on excursions. Do you know what excursion is? No. Like a like a field trip. Yeah, you know, right. go to fun field places and all that. Yeah. I think we should include that in our curriculum, like yeah, to make you know, so we can go to places like a museum, like a Christian museum, or we do like we go that to, where like Jesus was crucified. Like they have. They have like like they should have like a Jesus museum where like okay. Jesus, like people in the Bible like yeah. what happened in their life. Okay. So now are you guys saying if the church is a fun field environment and it's lively for you guys, you're gonna like coming to church? Yeah. Yes. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah. Love yeah. And to people will like to come to oh, okay. church and they wouldn't like like be upset and mad okay. and not participate if we had better things to do okay. and things that were more exciting snacks and fun. Okay. Yes, more snacks for the children. More snacks. You, you, <laughs> I think that's size of 40. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, all right, guys. We've come to the end of today's program. You want to say something? Um, I said, yes, we should do that because um, people that are new coming to the church, they don't really like the church. Mm -hmm. And they go to another church. Okay. Also, also about, like, how you said field trips. When we go to field trips, it's like really disorganized, like when we went to Amazing Jake's. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think we're gonna. All right, guys. All right, guys. We've come to the end of today's show. Uh, maybe some other time we discuss more, um, more, more into the the what we discussed today. But we've come to the to end of to the end of today's show. I beg my I beg my pardon. Now, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. And I hope that you guys would love to learn more about Jesus if actually the environment is fun for you guys. Because I, I'm just trying to take this decision from um, most of the um, children ministers out there that we're going to make changes and we're going to try as much as possible to make the environment a fun field um, uh, place for you guys to learn more about Jesus, to know more about God, and to learn more about the characters in the Bible. So, so that when you guys are when when you guys when they wake you when you guys up to go to church you guys won't be like oh my god mom I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to go to church today okay guys uh, thank you very much for coming I really appreciate you guys for sparing your tight schedule and you know honoring this invitation I, I thank you guys thank you, you said schedule yeah schedule yeah schedule oh, no, well I know right <laughs> well thank okay, you guys, okay. well thank you all for watching okay alright guys we thank you all for watching right. hey, oh, hold on. Wait, don't take my show from me and let me introduce you guys. So yeah, all right guys, we've come to the end of today's show. It's your boy Shay.
Sharon, it's Lola Rambaju, it's Zonji and it's Esther! <laughs> <laughs>